What's up everyone? It's Adam here with GYV doing my entry video into my hashtag MIG Grow Off 2022 that Broke Farmer's putting on his channel. So if you're interested in entering into this challenge, you have till January 7th to enter in. It's real simple rules. Uh, you can grow whatever you can grow, either seed or transplant in a five gallon bucket. And uh, this is my video and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to kick everybody's butt in this grow off challenge. I got my uh, secret weapon here. I am going to make a self wicking watering bucket system so that make it real easy to uh, maintain the perfect level of moisture and nutrients for my plant to get as much as I can out of this five gallon bucket. So I'm coming for you broke farmer and everybody else in this uh, challenge. I am going to grow something super special. Hopefully it works out. I'm here in uh, Florida, zone 10A, and I really look forward to uh, updating everybody about the progress of this challenge, and I'm really excited that I even found found out about this challenge, so let's, so let's do this. Uh, I'll, today I want to assemble my self-wicking five-gallon bucket system that I'm just going to crush it in this challenge. I just know it. And I have in front of me, I have two five-gallon buckets. It's a pretty simple system, which involves... Uh, two buckets connecting together, creating a reservoir of water to wick up into the soil. And uh, I've had this system before. I've never made one myself, but if you're interested in purchasing one already assembled, I think there's a, a company called uh, Growbox. Yeah, I think it's called Growbox and uh, you can check them out. It's a self wicking watering system. It's really great. I had it like, uh, I don't know, 10 years ago and it worked fantastic and uh, so let's get to it let's assemble this thing so first thing I need to do is I need to cut some holes in the bottom of this bucket I've already traced out one spot I'm gonna use this little pot to be my wicking system so I'm gonna put soil in the bucket the soil is gonna go in here and it's gonna wick up through the water just like that real simple just follow along with me this is my secret weapon now I'm gonna kick butt and take the grand prize whatever the grand prize is it's mine <laughs> so here we go oh yeah and also uh, I put some uh, four inch square pots at the bottom and it's gonna help support the bucket this bucket on top of it and um, the way it waters in I got this old PVC pipe uh, one inch pipe that uh, it's going to pour water into the reservoir from the top so you, at least you don't have to bend over so far to water your plants so let's get to this you know i've never made one of these things before but they do work great and uh hoping this is my uh my secret weapon so right now i'm just going to trace out my uh one inch PVC pipe hole right there in the bucket. Now what I've already done, and I'll show you, to figure out your uh, water line, every reservoir, so when you're filling this thing up, it pours out the side through a hole so you don't overfill your, your soil. So you don't want too much moisture and you don't want your soil too dry. So a real easy way is to put them, put them together and I've already put a dot right here and you can kind of see the sun come through and you can see the bottom of the inside bucket so you know right where to drill a hole so no tape measures needed you could probably do this whole project with a pocket knife you know just be careful all right so i got a multi-tool that i'm going to use something that was in my shed and uh you Use it to do some drywall work in my house, but let's get to it. So there's my first hole. This is not rocket science here. And uh, this is how it's gonna go in through the bottom of the bucket. Just sets in there, fill it full of dirt and the reservoir of water hits the soil and wicks up. And then, I'm 
dang flies out here. So if anybody's interested to know what this is, this is a multi-tool battery operating and just vibrates rapidly fast side to side and uh, just cuts through everything. Just gotta be super careful, it'll cut through you too. So, so that's really it. And then uh, I'm gonna drill some holes too through the bottom of this bucket to allow the moisture and water that goes into this soil to drain out into the reservoir below. You know, this is not uh, rocket science. Alright, so that's really it. And the uh, reason for the small holes is to keep the soil suspended above it and just allow the water to drip out into the reservoir. You don't want your soil too wet. And that's the whole gist of it. Alright. This is my secret weapon, okay? So. Oh man, we got this annoying fly flying around me here. So, all right. So here's my uh, pot. And I got this pot from Home Depot. I don't know, I bought some uh, zinnias a long time ago and I'm just gonna add some more holes. Allow the water to, to wick. To wick in. Really just a bit. I got some big holes in the bottom, so the water will it'll get in there. So that's really it. Put the soil in. I have my uh, PVC pipe. Boom. I'm gonna cut this thing. I'm gonna leave it kind of high because I don't want to bend over too far to fill it. So why not? Just uh, real simple pipe cutters from Home Depot. I think this tool costs like 10 bucks. What I want to do is cut this on a slight angle so that the case of dirt gets into the bottom of it, doesn't get clogged. So I'm going to just cut this on an angle a little bit here. Just like that. Really easy. You can do this. I'm probably going to flatten it off a little bit. Boom, that's it. All right, well, let me do a close up for you guys, show you what this looks like before I start filling it with dirt. And uh, I, I say dirt, potting mix. So I'll go over that, what I'm putting in here next, but I just wanna show you what the bucket looks like, this secret weapon of mine to crush it in the uh, hashtag MIG. Grow off 2022, it's gonna be good, just know it. So let me give you a close up real quick. Okay everyone, here is my uh, self wicking five gallon bucket that I'm going to kill it in the tw hashtag MIG grow off 2022. I got a uh, one inch PVC pipe. That you guys just saw me put in here. So this is what the inside of the bucket looks like. This is what I have in the bottom just to help support it. And those are those four inch uh, PVC pipes. I'm sorry, four inch square pots that I've uh, probably used at least two, three times now, maybe, maybe more than that. And then here's my uh, little tiny Zinnia pot that I had left over from years ago. Just set it right there. I'm gonna fill this up with soil, probably up to here. And what I have here is I have uh, some organic potting mix. And then also I'm gonna mix in some extra perlite into the mix. And then right here is my organic fertilizer that I buy from Haas Tools. That's really gonna make the plant grow. And then right here is my, my plant. This is a cabbage plant, but not just any cabbage. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill the uh, my five gallon bucket with a potting mix. 
Uh, the organic potting mix I picked up from Home Depot. Nothing super special. And then also I'm gonna mix in some additional perlite into the soil to help it uh, hold moisture and just help the water to wick up through the uh, soil and keep the soil nice and moist for my awesome cabbage plant that I'm growing in this five gallon bucket. So let's get to it. I'm just gonna reach down and pack that soil into that little pot that goes into the reservoir. We wanna make sure we have good soil to water contact. And just kinda of mix in this extra perlite. There's absolutely no rhyme or reason to how much perlite I'm putting in. Just kind of eyeballing it from experience. I used to do a lot of container gardening back in the day in my driveway. If you look at some of my old videos, I uh, had like 50 uh, 17 gallon pots in my driveway. I uh, didn't really have anywhere to grow at that time and worked out great. So if you have a driveway or a patio or a balcony and you want to grow some cool stuff, this is could be a great idea for you, especially if you can't water it every day. Uh, might be something you only need to water, you know, once every three days. You know, so maybe even longer, once a week. All right, well, that's basically it. That's what it looks like. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant my uh, cabbage plant right in the middle. And then um, I'm going to dig like a little furrow around it and put my uh, organic fertilizer I get from Haas Tools down about an, about an inch or two around the perimeter. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. That's about it.
Oh, looks like I forgot to drill my hole, my overflow hole. So I'll go ahead and take care of that now. That's really it. Drill the hole right there. I'm gonna go ahead and water this bucket and uh, that's what it looks like and that's it really. So the whole concept is put water down the uh, one inch PVC pipe, fills in the reservoir. You know what's full once the water starts coming out of your, your overflow hole on the side. And that's really it. It's kind of set it and forget it system. All right, let's go ahead and fill up the reservoir by putting water down the PVC pipe. And you know what's full once the water starts pouring out of this hole, so. It's gonna be a little while, it's a big reservoir. All right, it's pouring out the hole, it's telling me it's full. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of water on the top. And that's really it. And I think between the uh, self-watering system or wicking system here. I'm just going to crush it in my uh, hashtag MIG grow off 2022 challenge that I'm coming for you broke farmer and this is gonna win it right here. This is a special cabbage. It's a picked up from giant veg over in uh, the UK and uh, this, this is probably gonna be a huge cabbage and uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'm coming for you. So I want to say thank you to everybody for watching my video and don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button and follow my channel. It means a lot to me. And I just want to tell everybody out there, um, let's grow food. So hashtag let's grow food. And um, thank you very much.